Hello and welcome to the channel. In the last video we began a discussion on the call processing order on the expressway by talking about three pre-search items, the first of which is transforms. So today we're going to be talking about the next item, which is call policy or sometimes referred to as admin policy. Now call policy is a little bit different from other components within the expressway in that call policy is not searched by priority. Instead, it's searched by the order they appear in a list. And this is because call policies are created by using something called a CPL script. CPL stands for Call Processing Language. Now, it's a XML format. It's really easy to create. But if you've never worked with XML, or even if you're not familiar with it, uh, in the Expressway uh, Administrator Guide, there's an entire section devoted to CPL scripts. Uh, they have ex example scripts that you can use, uh, and the guide explains you know, when and how to use them. Now, alternatively, uh, if you don't really want to get into writing XML scripts, you can use uh, a tool that's built into the Expressway that will actually create them for you. Now, it's just a GUI, and all you have to do is uh, put in your dialing behaviors, and it'll create the script on the back end, and uh, that's actually the tool that I'm going to show you how to use today. Okay, now something to keep in mind is that if you use this tool, there's a bit of a limitation. Now, earlier I made the comment that the reason these three pre-search components, the transforms, call policy, and user policy, the reason that these components are searched before it starts searching for the aliases dialed uh, is because they all have the capacity to change the alias from its originally dialed form. Well, the thing about call policy is that it can only change the alias if you write a script that specifically says change the alias from its original dialed form. But if you're using uh, this tool that's built into the expressway, it'll never actually change the alias. What it'll do is create a policy that will allow the call to proceed uh, or reject the call and prevent it from proceeding uh, depending on what you want it to do. Okay, so if you're watching this video and you're familiar with routing protocols, then think of ACLs. ACLs in a router behave the same way as call policy behaves in an expressway. Okay, so let's do a quick demonstration here. So for call policy, we're going to go up to configuration and then go all the way down to the bottom of the menu. And under call policy, we have two options, uh, configuration and rules. So we have to turn it on first, and uh, we'll need to do that under configuration. Okay, and notice first off uh, that call policy mode is turned off by default. So to turn it on, uh, you can choose local CPL or policy service. Now, local CPL means that you're uploading a script into the expressway to use for call policy. But if you choose policy service, you have to point it to some external policy server where it will locate a call policy script and then read it from there. Okay, so most of the time uh, we just use uh, local CPL. So we'll go ahead and select that one and then save it here. And then down under uh, policy files, this is where I can upload a CPL script if I have one ready. Now, if I wanted to view a CPL script that has already been uploaded to the Expressway, then I could click uh, Show CPL XSD File and then view it here. And uh, we'll look at this in just a second, okay? And then another thing that you should know about call policy refers back to something that we talked about in the previous video about authentication. Now, remember we said that if authentication is set to do not check credentials, then you can register to an Expressway, but then there are some services that are not going to work, okay? So call policy is one of those services. It will not work if authentication is set to do not check credentials, which is why you have to change it to either uh, check credentials or treat as authenticated if you want call policy to work, okay? And if none of that makes sense to you, uh, just go back and watch the video on authentication. Really important point here. Uh, I'll put a link in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, so call policy is turned on. So now let's see uh, how to use the little tool that's built into the Expressway to create our own call policy rules. So we'll go to configuration and then call policy and then rules. And of course, notice that there are no rules in here yet. So we're gonna click new to create a new rule. And here you can put in a source pattern, a destination pattern, and then an action. Now notice that the only actions allowed are allow and reject. 
Okay, so using this tool is not going to change the alias from its original dialed form, but it does allow you to create rules to redirect calls so that, uh, for example, uh, when a call comes into a C-level employee, uh, in that case, calls, uh, you can make it so the calls would be automatically uh, redirected to their office assistant or, or something along these lines. Okay, so for the source type up here, uh, we're just going to keep the default from address. And then for rule applies to, we'll also keep it on authenticated callers. Okay, and then I'm gonna create a source pattern here. And uh, by the way, you could use regular expressions here if you wanted to. Uh, you can just type them in. There's no drop down menu for that. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna say anybody, so uh, dot asterisk. So this is anybody calling, and then destination pattern, uh, anybody calling 4002 dot asterisk and the action is going to be rejected here. Okay, and then we'll click Add to create this rule. Okay, then we're going to create another rule which uh, kind of says the opposite. Uh, so for this source pattern, uh, so if uh, 4002 dot asterisk call anybody else dot asterisk, then uh, this will be allowed. Okay, now the reason uh, that call policy is not selected by priority and instead it's chosen by how it appears in this list is because when you create these rules, you actually create a script and that script is always read from the top down. So if I go back to uh, call policy and then configuration, and then if I click uh, show call policy file, here we can see this is the script uh, that we just created. Okay, so it wrote that script for me. Okay, and notice that it has anything uh, to 4002, it's going to give a reject 4003 message. But if I call 4002 to anything else, it, it proxies it, uh, the call sent on, and everything goes through. Okay? And so now uh, what I can do if I go back to configuration, call policy, and then rules, I can change the order that these rules are executed just by pressing the up-down arrows here. Okay, and then if I go back to my script, show call policy files, I'll see, I'll see that the order of these rules in the script have changed as well. So uh, 4002 to anything is proxied first, and then down here, uh, anything to 4002 gets a 403 message second, okay? Okay, and remember, sometimes this order is important because, uh, for example, if this call is rejected first, then it's not going to continue. It's not going to look at what should be allowed to go through later, okay? Uh, but uh, maybe we can save those uh, details for another video. So that just about does it for this one. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.